Oh, why do I always have that song in my head? It's been like the last five or six days. I should probably do something about it. I'll probably find the answer on here. Donkey Haunted. That looks dumb. <laughs> Donkey Haunted is a, is a disease. One person out of banana is infected every year on Halloween week. How do you know if you're infected? Donkey Kong theme song should play in your head for at least two days. I'm probably infected. <laughs> what are the symptoms? What are the symptoms? There are none, but at midnight on October 30th, you may die. It seems really stupid to me. Is there a cure? Yes, you need to finish Donkey Kong 64 before midnight on October 30th? You know what? Better safe than sorry. You should probably actually play that game. And you know what? I'll finish it before tonight. <laughs> Come on. Donkey Kong 64 Donkey Kong 64 is a game developed by Rareware, the same company that made Banjo-Kazooie. And I swear that's a coincidence. We turn on the console and right from the start, there's a rap cutscene with DK and his friends, which is very creepy, thank you. I could totally make a full 5 minute video about this cutscene alone, but instead, I'll just let you enjoy the last couple of words pronounced by the quote unquote What? Let's move on to the story. When starting this game, I never played another DK game, and I was really surprised when I knew the bad guy wasn't someone I knew. K. Rule? More like K. Drool. I worked really hard on that one. So K. Rule takes his beautiful ship and rams right into DK's peaceful island, and for some reason, it thinks it's their fault and proceeds to capture and murder all of the pacifist inhabitants of the island. Yay for genocide! Oh, and by the way, they're monkeys, so it shouldn't be that hard. So, it's Donkey Kong's time to save the day by saving all his little friends that could totally just go out through the bars of their cells and kill the great, big, and mean Krul. First things first, as for any video game, we have to go through the tutorial. Normally, when you've never played a game, the tutorial should learn you some stuff. But this time, I just thought of Super Mario 64 controls, and I went through it relatively easily. Oh, and by the way, why is what I can assume is Donkey Kong's grandfather such a douche? Like, I'm the one doing the work here. Not you, so could you please shut up for a second? On to the first level. This game is pretty basic, and plays pretty much like Banjo Kazooie, so let's collect the bananas. The great reason for collecting bananas is to feed not so fatty so that he can be as fat as hella fatty over here. Then we can pitilessly murder the boss. How do we murder this weird armadillo, you ask? Why, throw barrel rolls at his face. Duh. Jesus, people these days. So that concludes the first level of the game. Well, it kind of concludes what I have to say about every single level of the game, since they're all pretty much the same. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Only the boss to go. Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's already midnight. I'm not even dead. It was just a joke. I can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> so dumb. Ah. <sighs> Hurt. Ah. Oh. Thanks for watching.
watching this year's Scary Week episode. I hope you enjoyed the review, and don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos I made. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!